Hey guys, Jobus34 back again with another Hot Toys Reviews. Um, I decided to tag team and do two for one here, a twofer, uh, since these two kind of relate and sort of don't relate. So as you know, there was an original Shore Trooper that was released from Rogue One a few years ago that's very popular. And a lot of people still sort after them and they're still uh, kind of higher in the second market value right now if you go on eBay or sites that still have them if you have a shot at getting the original one. However, you can quench your thirst a different way now, in two different ways. And of course, me beating the glutton, I got both. Uh, simple reason is because, uh, if, you know, if you're a stormtrooper builder, you know, a trooper builder or, or a team builder, and you want more than one, obviously these two complement each other uh, since they relate. And also, if you have the original one, then it'd be nice to have this guy to complement that or have all three. Um, so you can kind of, uh, you know, army build. So... Basically, the two differences between this one is this is a continuation from the Rogue One series. I think they always intended on releasing this, maybe because they were, he was in pictures of the old promo shots when the first one came out. And then there was hesitation for a while, because I think originally Rogue One wasn't considered a hit, and they kind of you know held back or stalled in a lot of the figures they were going to release. And then all of a sudden, it got kind of a, a second wind. You know, I think with being on the Disney Channel, and as time went on, people really appreciated Rogue One. And with the series of Mandalorian going on right now and some of these type of troopers resurfacing, not just this one, there's others as well uh, that are coming up. I think it was renewed interest and I figured they, they figured to go ahead. So this is from Rogue One. This is the, the uh, actual short trooper squad leader. Um, the original one, I think, was the captain, right? The, the, the head guy. This is the next up. And then you have here from the Mandalorian series... A different looking uh, shore trooper that connects but he's like basically I guess just a simple shore trooper no title no coloring because of the blue or, or red or whatever because of uh, uh, or the skirt that this one has because this is just like you know if you if you go by stormtrooper versus uh, a sand trooper or a snow trooper that has additional equipment you know or, or the uh, you know whatever that goes high, biker scouts you know, they all have a different look this is just your, I guess, plain vanilla shore trooper where this is a, a squad leader and the other one's the captain, which is why they have different colorings. He does have some red right here. That's pretty much it. Everything else is just plain vanilla, kind of off-white tan color. So we're gonna get we're gonna get these things open so I can review each one. I'm gonna review these two together. They came out only weeks apart from each other. They were not supposed to come out at the same time. This one was supposed to come out, I think, a lot later. Got pushed up. So next thing you know, I get the word that this is on the way. And then I get the word that this is shipping right behind him. So I have both of them. I've only had, you know, I got him first a couple weeks ago. He just showed up maybe a few days, a week ago. So I'm going to review them at the same time. So removing the covers, this is the inside of the box, which has beautiful artwork. This is the, you know, the uh, the flap that goes over the actual box, uh, inside the box over the figure. Uh, and here's the one. This is a really nice one for the Shore Trooper for the Mandalorian. Really like these. So if you lift these out... There you go. There is the Shore Trooper as seen in Mandalorian. And as we know, I don't know if it's a licensing thing or just simply a marketing thing. Everybody that seems to appear in the Mandalorian, you know, whether they're biker scouts or shore troopers or whatever, if they've been there before, even the stormtroopers, right? They're more worn. They're called uh, uh, Jetta troopers, right? They they have a slightly different look, so they're kind of unique. So like they're kind of they kind of look familiar, but yet they're unique and they're not. Uh, biker Scout, right? And I did get the Biker Scout from the Mandalorian with the gray speeder bike. Never took it out of the box yet to really review it. Maybe I will at some point. But again, it's like very Return of, Return of the Jedi looking, but yet not. You know, it's different. It doesn't have the blanket in the back. Instead, it has the bag. You can put the baby uh, child Yoda in or Grogu, whatever you want to call him at this point. And, um, you know, it's gray instead of brown. So again, they have the Shore Trooper, but no blue like in this guy. Here's... And here you go. This is the squad leader. Both, by the way, still excellent figures. Uh, I'm going to take them out of the box and get them set up so you can uh, see them better and see them in all their glory here, okay? Be right back. All right, guys. So we're starting with the squad leader. This is the one that I got first before the uh, other shore trooper showed up. And this is the one that's pretty much the continuation of the Rogue One series of Shore Troopers. So this is the second one uh, that was released uh, that represents them from that movie. And like the uh, Captain, he has somewhat, as you can see here, the blue and the white uh, and red incorporated into the uh, brownish tan 
off-white armor. Very nice detailing. Weathering is nice. It is different. Uh, I do have a friend that owns the original, and unfortunately I do not have that to do a comparison right now. But uh, that's okay. You get the uh, idea, and we'll do a comparison with the other short trooper once I show each one individually. So nice weathering, nice detailing. You could definitely see some damage and some wear and tear and some dirt and what have you in the armor and the red part and the forearms and the, the, the gloves. Nice weathering into the gun. The gun is not just a flat black. You could see some detailing there. The belt as well. Let's get in there really close there so you can see the gun. Look at the uh, detailing on the gun. There's definitely some scuffs and some dirt and some weathering in that gun. Very good detail there. This is really nice. Really nice there. We're getting in really close there. And again, there's the armor, the head sculpt. This is a really cool... My friend that uh, collects in this hobby as well, uh, mainly Hot Toys when it comes to Marvel superheroes, DC, uh, Spider-Man, uh, Star Wars, that kind of stuff. You know, he's he's big on Stormtroopers, and this is one of his favorites. And it is pretty popular. These guys have uh, definitely taken, taken the uh, franchise by storm, and um, no pun intended, Stormtroopers. <laughs> but um, they are the modern-day Stormtroopers as far as popularity uh, when they first appeared in Rogue One. And they become quickly a fan favorite. A lot of people uh, dig this this look. Um, and I do too. And so so if you took this one and the next one I'm about to show you and you merged them together, you would pretty much have the first release one, the Captain one. Um, and I'll show you why in a minute. Because the other one that I'm going to show definitely has the same structure and framework as the one from Rogue One. Uh, than, than even this guy. This guy's a little different than the first release of the Rogue One because his belt area, you know, down here is different. He's got the cloth skirt instead of the armored skirt that kind of that kind of continues along here. So I'll show that in a second. And also this is the base. I'm not using the base right now because I have him on the turntable, but this is the base that uh, display base that comes with this one. Really nice, like the artwork on it. And uh, there it is, short trooper squad leader. So very nice. I, I'm torn with bases. Sometimes a display base is nice. I kind of like the diorama scenic, you know, bases as well that add something. But I also think there's a realism. If the figure is well enough that it could stand on its own without a base, to me it's more realistic and it kind of has a cool look in, in like a glass display shelf. With no with no stands or bases, although if you're paranoid about them falling over, you know obviously a base is always a nice idea, and it definitely gives you more of the museum pose type of atmospheric, uh, having the nameplate and who they are and the artwork on the base as well. So your choice. I'll be right back with the other short trooper. All right, so moving right along, here is the second short trooper, or I should say third, if you want to count all the releases uh, overall. But this is the second release in recent times, and the first one from Mandalorian, and third one overall for the Short Troopers, if you want to break it down that way. Now, the one thing I notice uh, very interesting is that this one comes with the, pretty much the same rifle as the other one does. So, sadly, there's no variant as far as being able to pose one with different weapons, but I'm sure you can get creative and... Have him hold something else if you have both or all three and you want him to be unique. Um, however, this is pretty much the standard rifle uh, laser gun that they all seem to come with. Um, what I also notice with this one is getting in real close here. Let's get real close there. This one apparently, although there is some detailing, it looks like the weathering is not as intense. Uh, there is some there. But the weathering is not as intense as the one from the uh, the squad leader one. Now the armor definitely has some wear and tear, scuff, scratches, chips, and dirt, and weathering just like the other two do. Um, especially the one I just showed. Obviously in different spots, so not exactly the same, so that's cool. This one has, in some cases, more wear and tear in other spots, and the other one has some in other spots different from this one. Um, I do like this one, I think, overall better. 
And what you have with this one is pretty much the first release Shore Trooper, just minus the colorful armor, the blue, mainly the blue and the white on the armor, that the other one I just showed before, it does have some of which. Now, if you really, really, really want the original one, the first one that came out a couple years ago, and you don't feel like paying high value prices, <laughs> or aftermarket third-party prices, whatever you want to call it, you could technically pick up a second one of these if, you, let's say, you wanted each one uniquely. And if you were the painter or creative, I mean, I do some painting. I've thought about it myself. I even talked to my friend about it. I could technically paint the armor to match the first released one and have my, you know, third one or my captain or whatever you want to call that one. So, you know, it just really requires some of the blue to be added on the shoulder pads and, you know, here. However, I don't really mind that this one's missing the blue. I kind of like this one. And in some weird ways, I think this is my favorite of the three. I've seen the other one. Only because I, I tend to like the uh, the lack of color, if that makes any sense. I like the overall look of it just being, you know, that off-white tan color. And, I don't know, it just seems there's something cool about it. It definitely, it definitely has more of that Biker Scout Stormtrooper-ish look. You know, with having the missing blue and, and, you know, white. I mean, it has obviously a little bit of the red there, and it has that white stripe. So it has a little dash of color there, which is fine. Um, and it has obviously the symbol up there, which is cool, and they all, all three of them have that. But I will say, I think, I think overall, a short trooper trooper just looks nice regardless. And I think they all look great for what they are. Um, I do, I am impressed with the pouch that comes with this one. Uh, very realistic looking, kind of has a leathery, uh, realistic look to it. Let's get in close here if we can to that pouch, um, if I can. Yep. Really looks nice. Uh, looks like something that would be on a, you know, kind of has that same look as like a Tuscan Raider bandolier or something to that effect. Let's get in really, look at the, look at the nice wear and tear on there. And as this comes around again, look at the, look at that. That really does have like sort of like a leatherish broken in uh, pouch there. Really nice. Really nice. I like the canisters in the back that, you know, a lot of stormtroopers have, including the uh, snow troopers and what have you. Um, it really, really, really is cool. So let's, next up, let's do a side-by-side -side and, and see the two of them together. All right, I'm back, and now we got them both side-by-side. -side. Now, as you can see, there's obvious differences and there's obvious similarities. Now, the one thing I noticed about him that uh, I noticed different from him, he has a similar uh, body type and stature that the first Shore Trooper release had, whereas he comes off a little thinner up here. The, uh, the upper torso armor seems a little narrower, and so does the shoulder pads. And just like his body stature, he looks a little thinner. This guy looks a little thinner. This guy looks a little bulkier. Could also be an optical illusion based on this piece here that both this one has and the first release have uh, with the pouch that kind of maybe evens it out more and gives them more of a bulkier look. I think the first one has the bulkiest look of the three. This one is still, I think, slightly more thinner. But the thing I don't mind about that is that, you know, obviously there's different people in these outfits. So who's to say this guy isn't thinner than this guy or the other guy? So I don't really care about that. Overall, they both are very sturdy-looking figures. They both have really nice detailing, weathering, uh, scrapes, mud stains, chips in the armor, chips of the paint, you know, what have you. They all look really nice. Pretty similar in pant color. I think they all look like... I think there was some talk about the other one having a slightly different brownish tint, but I don't know. I saw my friends next to this one at his house, and... They look very similar to me. I think they all have like sort of like that brownish chocolate chocolate brown color, you know. But I don't know. It's it's they all obviously are in the same family, so they all resemble each other overall. Um, again, if you like the splash of blue with the white, sort of like what the first one had, then this was probably going to be more your guy. Or you know, if you don't mind and you just like the overall look of the armor more so than the color, then this is your guy. Uh, but again, why not try to have all of them if you can? I think it's great that they have unique looks. Now, another interesting thing to point out is that as you see that this one has the graphic for the base, this one they went with nothing, which is kind of weird. This one just has like a gray, you know, floor base. And not bad. It has the nameplate, says Shore Trooper, but very simplistic and very plain compared to that one. So not sure what the thinking was there. 
but really cool. So let's see if we could do uh, some sort of a dramatic pose here to finish this video up, and we'll call it a day on this one. So nothing too drastic, but just wanted to show how you can kind of have fun and get these two to, to work together in sort of like a, some sort of a scenario, a uh, battle scenario. As you can see here, I have the short trooper leading the way, but kind of putting his arm out, waving him back to kind of hesitate or to hold back because he notices something. He catches that attention, raises the uh, weapon towards whatever it is they're looking at there. So as you can see, you can have some fun posing them together and kind of trying to formulate some sort of uh, group uh, action scene where they're both uh, basically reacting to each other and not necessarily individual action poses or dramatic poses. So, you know, you could do a lot of things with this, especially if you get uh, other type of stormtroopers in the mix or even some of the good guys, you know have them fighting them in a, in a group battle. So this is just an example real quick. Uh, I switched bases on them just because I did it quickly. So they're actually on each other's bases. <laughs> um, but, you know, maybe if you want to do the beach scene in Rogue One and you can kind of get a sand base or, you know, put some sand, uh, you know, make a diorama scenery that looks like uh, Jeddah um, or, you know, the planet they fought on in Rogue One or something like that. Maybe have like a beach background looking like an ocean, a sunset, you know, sun, blue skies back there, tr tr palm trees, you know, that kind of thing. Or like one of those huge ATSTs AT -AT or what were those bigger ones, the, the AT-ATs, but they were like even bigger, right? The, 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 the cargo ones, right, that were in that movie. So you have a lot of uh, options here to play around with and have some fun with. But I think these two look great together. And the third one, the, the original one being in, in the mix as well would be great if I ever an op op opportunity to grab that one as well, I just might do that to be a completionist and have all three of them. And uh, again, kudos to Hot Toys and uh, Disney. Uh, great, great looking figures here. Great looking stormtroopers. Um, my friend is big in stormtroopers and he's a stormtrooper builder, army builder. So um, I'm sure at this point, you know, he had he's satisfied with the first one. But um, again, there's options if you want to build up multiple versions of them, but yet still be unique. So I think that's the that's the main thing here. So, all right, guys, so that's my review. I think these are uh, definitely must-haves if you're in the Star Wars collecting realm. And if you like the Short Trooper, or you like the original Short Trooper, or you like Mandalorian, or you're a fan of Stormtroopers in general, then, you know, go for these, man. I think they look great together. And like I said, I I'm still upset I don't have the first one. I may get the first one, too, or try to at some point and uh, complete this set. All right, guys, Till next time, Job is 34. Peace out. Thank you.